welcome back to Blue and Beauty with the Messer family. I want to make my own TV show someday. <laughs> we are right now. Well, we wanted to bring you back. Here it is, Ruby. Look how big the babies are. They, they I want to see. We've been here a week ago and they were small. It's like in one second they can be a piece of grain. scriptures Ooh, and that you were raised from the dead the legs according the legs to the Look at that one, the legs go like this. And we just want to remember that every day is precious. Nothing is guaranteed. We don't know what tomorrow holds. to know God and to make him known. And God wants to be found by you. Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me. You will seek me with all of your heart. And I encourage you in this time leading up to Passover where we remember that Jesus is the Lamb of God, where the ten plagues of Israel, these are Egyptian geese, right? Egypt. Whereas, <laughs> look at this little one over here. Just listen to that. That as, that as these, um, or Shalom. Have, yeah, Shalom. Or Achlan. That as the Jewish people were in Egypt and Moses had been sent to tell Pharaoh, let my people go, he was peace for God, let my people go so that they may worship me in the desert. There was a purpose. It wasn't just freedom for freedom's sake. It was freedom to, to worship, worship God. To worship God. And that's so important for us to remember that we are to remember what to do with our freedom. We are to point others to Christ because he wants freedom for all, just as this duck is flying in. May we remember that God is not done. If you think a situation is hopeless, may you call out to him today and say, Lord, I don't understand. I'm scared or I'm hurt or these people are doing this or doing that. Or I don't know how to interact with this person or this situation. What do I do? He will help you because he cares about you. First Peter 5, 7 says, Cast all of your cares upon him because he cares for you. Well, hopefully we'll get to update you on these goslings and their growth here in a while. 
grass for now. We'll let them rest here in the gentle breeze and the spring day with their mama and daddy. And we just thank you for joining us on Bloom and Beauty. And we just ask that you would continue to pray for Israel and Turkey and Syria and every country around the world that's dealing with different issues. Ukraine, Russia, America, the list could just go on and on and on. But we thank you, Lord, that you care and that you are present, that you are the Alpha and Omega, you're the beginning and the end. And we ask, Lord, that you would bless all that are listening and that you would draw many to yourself as a result of today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.